What was the dumbest thing you thought as a child? I used to think my mom was such a good shopper. She would pick out all these groceries. And when she got up to the checker, she would only give them one piece of money. And they would give her several pieces of money back and we got to keep the groceries. Lived in Germany for a few years. My dad convinced me that windshield wipers were called flip and flow and muckens preters. This was pre-Google Translate. That the Underground Railroad was a literal secret underground subway style steam engine that Harriet Tubman was the conductor of. I used to believe that night is brought about by clouds, dark ones. Of course, never felt a need to clarify this with anybody. It was an obvious fact. That babies were inside their mom's literal belly. If she swallowed a cherry tomato hole I thought it would land and bounce on the baby's head. I remember watching the movie Cocoon with my grandparents. I could not have been more than four. For some reason I deduced that in order to become adults, children had to die in these pool cocoons and be reborn old. I freaked my cousins out and had a whole group of kids crying at a holiday party over our impending doom. Ruined Christmas pictures that year. I used to believe that people that spoke other languages translated their language to mine in their head. That if people are going to study something they just sit in a circle with other students and think about what they want to do. As soon as they find out, they are done and they can leave. I wish lol. I thought that there would be a baby inside every girl's stomach as soon as she is born and inside that baby's stomach too there would be a tiny baby. The cycle goes on and on and that the baby keeps growing as we grow and after getting married the doctors will cut the stomach and take the baby out to make space for another baby. I felt terrible as a kid to eat. I wouldn't eat in front of people and every meal I would find myself thinking poor food. Getting eaten because I was convinced they had emotions. That all companies with a trademark, trademark, were owned by my family. Only because those are my initials. When I was really young, I was convinced I was pregnant, I'm a man BTW, with a baby cat named Bridget. My family decided to see how long I would believe this so they never told me how ridiculously impossible that was. I went on believing it for about 5 months, that's how long little me thought cat pregnancy lasted. And then when the baby never came, I went to my mom and asked when Bridget would be born. She finally told me that boys can't get pregnant and humans can't give birth to cats. I was traumatized. Little me was so excited to be a cat father. And then it was ripped away from me. I was such a stupid kid. That a blowjob meant you blow air in a boy's general direction. Thanks to my older siblings for making me believe that one lol. That if you poke your belly button too hard then it would come open like a plug and all of your internal organs would spill out. That the world actually used to be black and white like it was in old movies and even asked my mom what it felt like when all the colors suddenly appeared. I believe hamburger and hot dog buns were only available for restaurants, not civilians. Mom used sliced bread, toasted to obliterate the gums, at home to make burgers and hot dogs. I believe that until the age of 10. Not something I believed, but a harmless prank I used to play on my kids. There is a highway we use that has several long, gentle curves over a five to six mile stretch. One day when my younger son complained that the sun was in his eyes, he was about three at the time. I had the idea to pretend that I had a personal relationship with MR. Son. I saw that the highway was going to curve. So I had a conversation with MR. Son explaining the situation and asking him to please move over so that he wasn't shining in my son's eyes. I drew out the conversation and timed it so just when MR. Son agreed. We would start the curve and it looked like he was moving over and out of my son's eyes. Then after another curve, the sun would be in my other son's eyes. So I asked politely for MR. Son to move again. Just as we went around the next curve. This went on for almost a year before my wife explained to them what was going on. It was hilarious in the meantime. I thought if you left a video game on then a character would come out of the TV and kill you. I was a bit paranoid as a small kid. I thought babies came out of women's buttholes. 
I thought the Christ on the crucifix at my elementary school was a cool man reclining on a hypermodern, minimalist space vessel. Took him from the wall during break and made him soar through the room. Dramatizing his mad flight with epic lip-generated engine sounds. Just when I staged his collision with a sandwich, the teacher came in. I used to think that once you finished the grade in primary school you became smarter than the teacher of that grade. I grew up around the time of the release of the Star Wars prequels. I vividly remember asking my brother as to why they released the sequels, New Hope etc. Before the release The Phantom Menace as it made no sense when I was 11 and a prequel was a wild new concept to me. He had me convinced, embarrassingly until I was about 15 16 that the reason they released the sequels first was because there was a fire at the studio and it burned all the original tapes so they had to reshoot them. I was so ducking dense that there's a tiny human inside the TV who executed what the remote was telling him to do. For example, when you press the button to increase the volume, he is being hit in a specific way that lets him know that he has to go and manually increase the volume. This is a wild ride. Folks, when I was a little girl, my grandpa told our family this story that he used to call the chocolate head. He told us that he was born with a head encased in chocolate, and the doctors and nurses had to eat it off, despite already being eaten. The reconstructed chocolate head floated back to him when he was a toddler, telling him, Remember me? I'm the chocolate head. I remember looking all throughout my grandpa's house to seek out this floating, talking replica of my grandpa's head made out of chocolate. Now, my grandpa is on so many medication, he actually might believe his own story. I thought that the hockey player Peter Talionity was actually two people. A man named Pete Talley and his sidekick Eddie. I asked my mom once why people had gray hair. Without missing a beat. She simply said. From having kids. For many years I thought there was some biochemical process after having kids that caused one's hair to turn gray. I eventually learned different. Also figured out where I got my propensity for smartassery. I was very very young and I blame Wizard of Oz but I believe that a tornado was just one big phenomenon that continuously happened and spun from state to state country to country. I also live in the south so we have frequent tornado warnings so I vaguely remember a time we had two or three warnings in one week and I was scared the single tornado would come to our town and never go away. I thought gunpoint was an actual location, somewhere on the coast, where people kept getting robbed. I used to think that the sunlight rays piercing through overcast days were how new Power Rangers were selected. I wanted to be a Power Ranger really badly. So I was always sad when I couldn't be an array. That I would have to change my name when I grew up. I don't know why. But I thought my name was suitable for a child but definitely not for an adult. And I couldn't imagine being an adult with my name. I even talked to my mother about it saying that at some point we'd eventually have to go to court to have it changed to something more adult sounding. My dad lost his wedding ring in the bay during a fishing trip. He'd lost weight. His hand was wet and probably fish slimy. And it just fell right off and was lost forever to the water. I was absolutely inconsolable. It took my parents quite a while to get me to calm down enough to be able to explain why I was so upset about it. I thought it meant they were no longer married anymore. LOL. I thought Wichita, Kansas was where all the witches lived. I also thought Jefferson County was where the Jeffersons lived. Apparently when I was about six or so, I told all my friends that my mom, who was never in my life, was eaten by a bear. I live in Australia. I've never seen a bear in my life. Well, I thought that Delaware was a supermarket chain. In my defense, I'm not American, and I was like 10. Didn't have world geography at that point except for point to the USA. Now point to Australia, still think it would make for a nice enough supermarket name though.